Hey, good morning. And a glorious morning it is here in the glorious Golden Isles of Georgia as I walk the beach, <clears throat> heading about two thirds of the way from Gould's Inlet down as close to the pier in the village area as I can get, depending on where the water is down there. Sometimes you can't get to the pier even when the tide is half up or half out, just no beach. But anyway, um, last week I shared two short videos of me sprinting on the beach. And one of them I hope to be uploaded to the, or I tried to upload it to the main channel with the longer videos, but because it was under 60 seconds, YouTube placed it in the short video. And I don't know if you saw either one of those, but so uh, I've already sprinted five sprints of various lengths and uh, durations this morning as I've walked the beach. And, uh, but I wanted to share this morning with you what I planned on sharing in one of those sprinting videos. That for me to obtain optimal health, I learned just before, right around the end of August, I learned that sprinting is really the best way to optimize your health. Better than walking even 10, 12, 15,000 steps, which, you know, Donna and I get uh, when we do walk the beach. But sprinting is better for your optimal health because it's, if not the best way, one of the best ways to remove visceral fat from inside your body. And I've shared on a previous video, you know, the danger of visceral fat. There's a term called skinny fat where people might appear from the outside to be thin or skinny or in shape, but their bodies could be ravaged with visceral fat. And what I learned was visceral fat doesn't just collect around your organs and around your muscle, they can invade, visceral fat can invade organ tissue and muscle fibers and begin to destroy the tissue of your organs and your muscle fibers so that if it's not dealt with and removed, then as you age, you lose muscle strength, which then can cause you to fall and all kinds of really adverse situations. So anyway, starting September 1st, I started sprinting several times a week, sometimes twice, sometimes three, sometimes four, just depends on my schedule and really how my body feels because I haven't sprinted in many a decade. It's been more than a minute. But anyway, so, you know, I've lost 53, 54 pounds. This morning I weighed in about 177. I actually got down to 175 uh, at the end of September, a couple days ago. But I'm a couple pounds uh, above that right now. But optimal health, I've just been on this journey for three years. So the fall of 2020, I was 230 pounds and now I'm 177. And I don't know, 10 to 12, 12 to 15 pounds of that was lost just in the month of September when Donna and I restricted our diet to just the carnivore diet to see what would happen with our bodies and our health. And I started sprinting. So, you know, 25% or so of my weight loss has been in the month of September when really that's the hardest time to lose body fat because you've eliminated so much body fat. So, you know, I don't usually show my my body. I'm not into all of that, but just a goodness. I've, I don't know. I was probably a 36, 37 waist. I'm down to 32, 33 at least, and I still have some to lose. But, uh, you know, I feel, I feel better than I've felt in many, many, many years. And uh, I'm getting back into what I call playing shape, you know, getting back to where I can compete in life. 
So I just want to encourage you. I know this video is a little longer, but hang with me just for a little bit longer. Paul wrote several things about being in shape. Yes, he did talk about how bodily discipline profited a little. He didn't say it didn't profit anything. In comparison to eternity, bodily discipline comparatively profits a little. But in this physical world, in this life we live in a physical world and a physical body, you're not going to be able to live the maximum life God intended you to live if your body is out of shape and you're not healthy. And so I just decided I had to change that. And so I've been on this three year journey to do it. So yeah, he said that, but he also said that like the first century Olympians, the, the, the athletes in the Greek games, which was really the precursor to modern Olympic competition, that people ran to win. And so they had to prepare their lives, their bodies, their commitments to excellence and to be in shape because they were to run to win, to get an earthly prize. So how much more to get an eternal prize should we, as he said, buffet his body, buffet our bodies so that we can get the optimal results from the life God has given us. He also said in Hebrews that we were to cast off every weight, every encumbrance, and the sin which so easily tripped us up, entangled us, kept us from reaching optimal spiritual, emotional, intellectual, and physical health, or as the Bible would call it, wholeness. You can't be whole if your body is not physically fit. You can be spiritually and intellectually and emotionally healthy, but you know, if your body is weak or out of shape, then God bless you. And then he said to Timothy, he said, I have fought the good fight. I have kept the faith and I have finished the course, my course, or I finished my race. He ended well. So, you know, I don't know what he did to buffet his body, but he did it. He didn't say he buffeted his mind or his spirit. He buffeted his body, the temple of the Holy Spirit. We have a responsibility to make sure this Holy Spirit, Holy Temple, our body can function at the highest level so that we can fulfill God's divine purpose for our life. So I want to encourage you, if you're not in physical shape, do what you can do, and believe me, we all can do something to get in physical shape, optimal health. Hey, thanks for hanging with me. If you've subscribed, liked, commented, and shared on these videos, the shorts and the longer versions, thank you so much. If you haven't done any of those or all of those, please do. The first 24 hours are crucial. They're critical because YouTube's algorithms look for not just subscribers, which I'm grateful for, but interaction, liking, commenting, sharing. The more that that happens on my videos, the more people will be exposed to them and have an opportunity to learn some really cool things that God has put on my heart and that I share and upload. Anyway, God bless. Peace in.